in this video we will learn how java works basically the theory aspect of it we are not going to run any java program in reality but we will learn the concepts or the process behind it so in java whenever we have to run a program the step one is to have a source file basically the program itself once we have the source we compile the source file we compile our program and after the compilation after the successful compilation we get the compiled code step number two now we always run the compiled code we do not run dot java file directly although newer versions support uh, a single command but it still is a two-step process so we always run the compiled code so when we trigger a command to run the compiled code what java does java runtime runs that compiled code it basically executes or in uh, or launches a new instance of jvm which is java virtual machine and this machine this jvm actually runs the compiled code so this is step number three now if we uh, talk about more details what exactly is this source file so in java whatever program we write it uh, we have to save this with dot java extension so let's say if we created uh, a program let's say calculator so we will save it as calculator.java now when we compile it we use the command java c this command uh, comes with jdk bundle that we download so we simply call java c what we want to compile and we, we get a compiled version of that java code which is basically uh, a dot class file so output of this step will be calculator the name remains same but the extension changes this is dot class if you notice it is the intermediate code in byte code that will be run by jvm eventually so it is the compiled code now when we to run it we call the command java again this is with the jdk bundle so we don't have to download it separately but we can find it in the folder where we downloaded the java basically so when we run uh, execute the command java it takes this class file as the input because it runs the compiled code the format of this byte uh, sorry dot class file is the byte code we will learn this byte code later but for now consider it as some form of assembly language that we cannot directly understand so when we trigger the java command it takes uh, this byte code as input and launches a new instance of jvm which basically runs this code so this code is run by jvm so this is how java works on a very high level but if we understand this process from dot java file to dot class and then to jvm then we can easily understand why java is portable why do we say that we have to run the java program once right uh, sorry uh, we have to write java program once but we can run it anywhere so by vora we mean that so for example if we talk about this calculator dot java we have to write it once and we have to compile it once but if we have the dot class file we can run it many times so for example on a windows machine let's say this example was for windows machine so let's say i have a windows machine and uh, on a windows machine i wrote this calculator.java i compiled it on a windows machine and i got the dot class file and when i triggered the java command on the windows machine then the runtime that i installed on the windows machine will launch a new instance of jvm to run this java program but once i have the dot class file i can move it to my another system so let's say i copy this dot class file and i move it to my linux system now on my linux system i don't have to recompile the class if there is no change i don't have to recompile the same thing again i can directly use the same dot class file on my linux i would again install uh, the java runtime which is specific to linux but if i trigger the java command with the same class file on linux i will get the same output 
I can run the same class on Linux uh, using the Java command. So that is why Java is called portable because we can run the same class file on different operating systems uh, as long as that operating system has the Java runtime which is uh, which is specific to an operating system but we don't have to recompile the whole class and uh, the Java file basically. Thank you.